Dr. Berg, thank you very much indeed for joining us and telling us a little bit about your talk here at the ENEA in Liège. You're from the University of Essen? Yes. And what do you do there? I work in the Department of Endocrinology mm -hmm. uh, and mainly treat patients with uh, suffering from acromegaly and uh, disorders, pituitary disorders. Mm -hmm. You have a lab of, uh, uh, as well or just clinical work? Uh, I'm a clinical researcher. You're a clinical and, researcher. Uh, okay. look after patients clinically. And you were talking today about cardiotoxicity associated with acromegaly and it seems yes. to me to be a, the major um, problem long yes. term for acromegalics. Can you tell us about that? Well, indeed, uh, this is one of the uh, main problems. Uh, when uh, you have acromegaly, uh, you have um, some sort of cardiovascular risk. Uh, and this risk uh, is uh, quite big. Uh, and we actually looked how big is your risk, uh, how large uh, is your cardiovascular uh, risk uh, when you have uh, active acromegaly. Right. And what we found in our study was that uh, when you have active acromegaly, you are indeed uh, at high risk to develop a coronary heart disease. Um, this is due to uh, several reasons. Patients have uh, frequently diabetes mellitus, they have hypertension, their lipid metabolism is different uh, compared to controls of the general population. And uh, of course, your heart is affected. Uh, so you have uh, enlargement of the heart, hypertrophy, and uh, uh, arrhythmia. Uh, so uh, there are many, this is a complex issue. There are many things coming you, together. You get a cardiomyopathy too, don't you? Sort of IGF-1 related. Yes, indeed. You have a specific kind of cardiomyopathy. But we wanted to look whether apart from cardiomyopathy, there is an additional risk to develop coronary heart disease yeah. and myocardial infarction, which is different from cardiomyopathy. Uh, and uh, yes, indeed, you, uh, when you have acromegaly, which is uncontrolled, then you uh, can develop uh, myocardial infarction. So what is the risk lifetime long, do you think, well, roughly? Well, the risk is approximately two-fold increased, okay. two to 2.5-fold increased. Mm. And, but more importantly, this risk can be reduced uh, by an, an effective uh, therapy. Right, such as? Such as uh, in, our pa in our study, we treated our patients with Pecvisimant, which is one of the most uh, recent and mo most modern uh, uh, kind of uh, therapies. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were able to reduce uh, the markers of disease activity, to reduce the IGF-1, to reduce growth hormone levels. And so we could reduce also uh, the concomitant uh, cardiovascular risk profile. Sure. And it also has an effect on cardiomyopathy, is that right? Yes, indeed. So we you're getting a double uh, yeah, w we, we see that, uh, for example, left ventricular hypertrophy as a marker of cardiac uh, affection mm -hmm. uh, can be reduced when you uh, treat successfully uh, the acromegaly. Sure. But this is long, lifelong treatment now then, is it or not? Yes, it is lifelong treatment yeah. and has to be monitored quite closely. And what we want to, to emphasize is that you also have to look at the uh, cardiovascular diseases. Sure. So the coronary arteries as well as the left ventricle? Yes. So, yeah. So. so the coronary arteries uh, are affected and this is somehow uh, the, the point we want to make. Uh, they are affected and you need to protect your patients sure. from developing CHD. And, and what do you do about the lipids? What do you do about the uh, uh, the diabetes and so on. Uh, I mean, they're not notoriously controllable either. No, they are. They are unfortunately not uh, controlled. You have to treat uh, these patients like patients who had have a myocardial infarction, okay. uh, like patients who are at high risk uh, to develop uh, uh, infarction and uh, coronary heart disease. So. You treat them with lipid-lowering medication, with antihypertensive, and you treat the diabetes uh, quite intensively. Right. Okay. 
and diet and exercise and the usual sorts yes, of things. Yeah. Mm. Dr. Berg, thank you very much indeed. That was most interesting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.